How to Power a Condenser Microphone Condenser microphones get their name from the capacitator inside that converts acoustic energy to electrical signals. Before the electrical signal can be heard over speakers, it needs to be amplified. The voltage between the capacitator plates doesn't produce any current at all. That is why we need an external source of power. There are a few ways to do this, but the most preferred one is by using 48 volts phantom power. They can also be powered through a vacuum tube. Another way to power them up is via an electrode, which is a dielectric substance that supplies power to the capacitator through an onboard battery. What do you need to power up a condenser mic? The most common way to power a condenser mic is through 48 volts phantom power. This is the best way to power your condenser mic if you are interested in the studio recording. Phantom power is an audio interface preamplifier that provides the mic with enough power to increase its volume and make the sound quality better. If you want to record directly to your recording disc or console, then you can find XLR inputs that are specifically meant for phantom power. There are various phantom power options, you can select AC phantom power or a battery one. What is phantom power? Phantom power is a direct current voltage, usually of 48 volts, it powers the active components in the mic like the capacitor. Phantom power passes through the same cables from the source to the mic that transfers the mic's audio energy to the mic input. There are three pins, hot, cold, and ground. The signal can be found between hot and cold, and ground is connected to the cable shield. How to phantom power a condenser mic? Phantom power is produced from electricity from power mains or batteries. There are four phantom power sources and we have listed them below. Standalone power supply Microphone preamp Audio mixing console This power then passes through balanced audio cables and lines. Microphones usually receive power through XLR cables, but in some cases, it may be sent through TRS cables via patchy bay. Microphone preamp Almost all microphones are connected to mic preamp so it would make sense to include a phantom power circuit in it. Mic preamps can be found in MAN audio devices. Not all mic preamps supply 48 volts DC, some may supply less. Standalone power supply. If you want to plug your mic into input like a stereo mini or one quarter inch instrument cable input that doesn't provide correct phantom power or any at all, then you might use these. Otherwise, these units are not very popular since most mics are constructed with a phantom power circuit. You may find wall-plugged or battery-powered standalone power supply units. How to use a condenser mic with phantom power? If you want better sound quality, then you should go for external preamps. To use a condenser mic with phantom power, you will need a condenser microphone, XLR cable, power source and, if you are recording via a laptop or any other recording device, you will also need an XLR cable with a 3.5mm jack. When buying an XLR cable, Make sure it is male to female. All you have to do is connect one end of the XLR cable to the microphone and the other to the power source. Take the other XLR cable and connect one of its ends to output on the power source and plug it into your computer or whatever recording device you have. Turn on your power source and you can start recording. Make sure that your mic is connected properly if you are turning on the phantom power. If you have decided to plug in your mic after turning on the phantom power, it may hurt your microphone. Any device used between them will block the phantom power and affect the sound quality. How to use a condenser mic without phantom power? Condenser mics are great but they do not work on their own, they need energy. The back metal plate, diaphragm, and capacitator are the three most important parts of a condenser mic and all of these are located inside the mic capsule. When you start recording with the mic, the diaphragm finds a change in the air pressure and sends the wave to the back plate. The back plate sends it back to the diaphragm. The problem is that this electrical signal is not powerful enough and, if you want to be loud on the mic, then you need an outside amp. One way to use a condenser mic without phantom power is through a vacuum tube. These tubes can amplify the power signal emitted by the mic capsule. The other option is to power the mic through electric. Electrode is a dielectric unit that connects either to the backplate or to the diaphragm. The electrodes have a permanently embedded electric charge so you won't need a high voltage for the capacitor. Electrode supplies a constant power flow that runs on batteries. 
This method is used when the mic is connected to phones, laptops, or other such devices. Can phantom power damage the condenser mic? No, phantom power doesn't hurt your condenser mic. Phantom power is often 48 volts DC at a very low current. Technically, there are two phantom powers running through your mic as the resistors divide the power and send it to two destinations, pin 1 and pin 2. The dynamic coil in the microphone side is connected between pin 2 and pin 3 where there is no voltage difference. Phantom power might damage mics that don't need it, like ribbon mics, dynamic mics, and tube mics. It will not damage your condenser mic unless you have a bad cable. The chance of this happening is 1 in 10 million, even then it can be prevented with the help of transformers. They prevent the dynamic coil from receiving power when the cable is shorted. How do you take care of a condenser microphone? Condenser microphones are expensive and will be one of your most cherished studio arsenals. To make sure that they last for a while, you have to be careful and take a few measures. Use a pop filter when you're recording vocals, this will prevent the singer's saliva from landing on the mic. Store it in a plastic bag when it's not in use. The plastic will prevent airborne dust and other particles from sitting on the mic. The person should stand about 6 inches away from the mic while recording, this will prevent plosives from buffeting the mic. Use and keep the original clip and shock mount in a good condition. Your mic might fall and suffer damage if you don't use the clip. Use a good quality supportive stand that has the least chances of toppling over. Condenser mics are great and desired by many studio vocalists and recorders.